Hi everyone and thank you for clicking on today's video. And boy do I have a fun and easy Illustrator tutorial for you. In today's video, you will learn how to take this pencil sketch of a donut and turn it into a beautiful and vibrant flat design illustration in Illustrator. If you're new around here and interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials, then please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification to easily find your way back here. So I began by creating a rough sketch with a pencil of what my donut would look like. If you're not much of a drawer, then you can download the sketch file by becoming a member of the channel. The link will be in the description. Once the sketch is completed, I took a picture of it with my phone and transferred it to my computer so I could digitize it. Let's open up a new document in Adobe Illustrator at 1080 by 1080 pixel. The size is perfect for posting on social medias like Instagram. We can place the sketch reference on the canvas by pressing Command plus Shift plus P on your keyboard. Once we have the reference centered, Let's turn it into a template by double-clicking on the layer icon and turning on the template mode. This will dim the opacity of the layer by 50% and also lock it. We can create two new layers and name them Outline and Color. For the outline, we will use a dark red stroke with rounded caps and corners. Make sure to also have a thick stroke. By the way, this video is sponsored by Astropad. What is Astropad, you ask? Well, this is the ultimate app for artists. What this app does is turn your Apple iPad into a drawing tablet by mirroring exactly what you see on your favorite Mac or PC display. Which means you get the flexibility of using an Apple Pencil combined with the power of a full desktop computer. This app is engineered for the most demanding creative work or even just some simple illustrations like we do here on my channel. I just started using it and I believe it's going to change my workflow completely when illustrating. If you're ready to take your creative workflow to the next level, you can start your AstroPad 30 day free trial today. Plus, you can save 10% on your first year using my link in the description and entering the promo code DOMDESIGNS at checkout. So be sure to check that out. Begin by creating an oval with the ellipse tool starting from the middle. Then create a perfect circle while holding shift key on your keyboard. By activating the pen tool, we will add two anchor points to the circle on both sides like this. Next, activate the direct selection tool and select the bottom anchor point and delete it to leave this gap. With the pen tool once again, Following the reference, we will create the icing connecting both sides. Now let's create the bottom dough of the donut using the ellipse tool once again to create another perfect circle like this. As you can see here, the icing in the dough of the donut is overlapping. So let's clean this up by making sure we have closed shapes. Select the icing and dough and activate the shape builder tool. You will notice a little plus sign near your cursor. 
This means we will merge the shapes together. If you had issues with this part, then check out my beginner tutorial on how to use a shape builder in the link above. Using the pen tool, let's trace the icing part near the center of the donut. Make sure to connect the shapes at both ends. Once again, let's clean this up using the shape builder. Select both shapes, and this time just click on the shape we want to keep. This will separate it, and just delete the unwanted shape. With the pen tool, add some curved lines for extra details like this. Now let me show you how to create the sprinkles. With the pen tool, draw a short line. Go to the object menu at the top and select outline strokes, which will then turn the stroke into a shape. We can just copy this shape by clicking and holding the option or alt key on your keyboard to create duplicates. Just vary the rotation to give it some randomness. For the final part of the outline, let's make these stroke details look more interesting to look at by using the width tool. This will vary the thickness of the lines. Just click on different parts of the strokes to play with the thicknesses, making the ends taper off like so. Awesome, so now let's add the base colors to the illustration. Let's select all and copy everything onto the color layer. By holding the Option or Alt key on your keyboard, drag the green square down to the red square on the layer panel. We can then lock the outline layer and hide it so that we could focus on the color layer. Next, we can select and delete the details. We want to make sure that this layer only has the basic shapes. Select everything, head over to the color panel, and replace the stroke for a fill and give it a beige color for the dough. Select the icing shape and give it a vibrant pink color for the base color. Right click and send it to back so that we can select the center and just give the center oval a white color to reveal the background. For the sprinkles, let's head over to the outline layer. Select each individual sprinkle and assign white, blue, and yellow colors to them. Finally, we will add some shadows and highlights to the drawing. The light source will be coming in from the left, which means the top left will be lighter and the shadows will go towards the bottom right of the illustration. Using the pen tool with a darker pink, Draw out the shadows following the edge of the icing. Make sure to connect the anchor points together at the end to create closed shapes. Using the shape builder, select the icing and the shadow and remove the overlapping shape by holding Option or Alt on your keyboard with the shape builder tool. For the middle part, duplicate the white oval, assign a dark pink color to it, and clean it up using the Shape Builder tool once again. Following the same steps, let's add some shadows at the bottom as well.
Now let's add a vibrant highlight at the top left of the donut. Create a circle, replace the fill for a stroke, and make that stroke fairly thick. Activate the Direct Selection tool and delete these anchor points right here. With the Width tool, make the center of the stroke thick and taper off both ends. And finally, let's add a pink background with a few shadows to finish off the illustration. And there you have it everyone, this is how to turn a pencil sketch into a flat, vibrant vector illustration in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you once again, and cheers everyone!